What was that? Mm, nothing. Something. Spill it. It's dirty. I can tell by the distaste that's smeared all over your face. Okay, well, you remember that guy Andrew that I was seeing? Excellent. Yes, I remember that guy Andrew you were seeing. Well, we were texting the other night and things got a little suggestive. Oh, Meg, sexting. That's not like you. I love it. Continue. Well, he started it and it seemed like a good idea at the time, but then he sent me a photo. He sent you a dick pic? Ooh, it's taking it up a level. Wait, have you guys had the sex? Why wasn't this the beginning of the story? Well, no, I, I haven't spoken to him since the sexting. It, it kind of put me off. Why? Oh, was his dirty talk bad? Look, it can be difficult if they're awkward at it, but you just need to push through it. Maybe train him? No, it wasn't that. It was the photo. He wasn't, you know... Circumcised? Yes! I've never seen one before. It kind of grossed me out. It looked like an anteater. I didn't know what to say, so I didn't say anything. And now I don't know if I want to say anything. Is that bad? I'm sorry, but if you think a penis is gross because it's uncut, then you don't deserve to get one. Annie? Well, imagine if he didn't want to see you anymore because you had an ugly vagina. Oh my god, Annie! Well, you'd be really upset! Truth, lady friend, body shaming ain't never cute, and if it was aimed at you, it wouldn't be cool either. Well, what about you? You complain about your body all the time. Relevant. It doesn't count if it's aimed at yourself. Look, all I'm saying is guys shouldn't be made to feel bad about their uncut peens. Just as ladies shouldn't be made to feel bad about their weird boobs or a larger labia. Genitals come in all shapes and sizes and if they're attached to someone you want to get naked with, you better learn to accept.